Well, here we go. We are on to the final week of the regular season in the NFL in 2020, now actually two, for the 2021 season, of course. Things are getting interesting in terms of playoff races, especially seeding as well. Let's see how that finally gets resolved with these predictions here. On the AFC side, you got the Chiefs on Saturday taking on the Broncos. Broncos just got eliminated. Chiefs are fighting for their life for that one seed. I think the Chiefs will be able to win this game. And then we got the Bengals off a huge win against the Chiefs and the Browns, who have been recently been eliminated, losing to the Steelers. I think the Browns are just going to try to go for a slightly lower draft pick, and the Bengals are still going to try to be red hot as well. I think the Bengals are going to win this game. Two teams looking for that playoff spot, but are going to have to be determined by uh, the Jaguars, actually. I think that the Ravens are going to win just because they're at home. But then again, they'll probably go for two on a crucial play and lose because of it. But I think they should be able to win this game. Then we got the Titans going against the Texans. Rumors going around that the Titans might be getting Derrick Henry back. And the Texans are just being the Texans. So I'm going to get the Titans to win this one. Now, there, this one, the Colts just got a really brutal loss against the Raiders on that field goal. The Jaguars, I just recently mentioned this, either the Ravens or Steelers, or wins that and use the Jaguars to win this game, you'd be in the playoffs. However, that's not possible. There's just no way. Right? I think the Colts are going to win this one. Who knows, though? Who knows? And we got the Patriots going against the Dolphins. Dolphins recently, last week, had their huge winning streak ended by a good team. Hmm. And then we got the Patriots here, who put a 50 spot on Jacksonville, yes. But this should be an interesting game. If this game happened, like, a few weeks ago, we'd be seeing, like, I don't know. It'd be a good primetime game, maybe. But give me the Patriots. And then we got... The Bills, who are trying to also win that AFC East, and going against the Jets, who actually almost beat the Bucks. I don't know if that's on them or that's on the Bucks, but I'm going to give it to the Bills. Sunday night. Win your in, lose your out. Chargers, Raiders. Raiders are actually starting to look a little more competent right now. The Chargers are... Bit iffy. With this game, it could go either way. Carr's looking good. Herbert's looking all right. I think when it comes down to is this kind of offense, I think the Raiders are going to win and go to the playoffs. And then the NFC Spectrum, Saturday night. Cowboys taking on the Eagles. Cowboys, with some circumstances, they can still get the two seed, I believe. But I don't know if I can see that happening. Eagles gotten into the playoffs. They could try to get for a higher seeding. Who knows what's going to happen. Who Maybe Dallas will rest in the second half. Honestly, regardless, I still think they're going to play to win just because of the circumstance that they could get the two seed. It seems like I picked them every single week, but I mean, they're still a really, really good football team despite what happened last week. It's just something. It would have been tied at the end if it wasn't for Greg, the leg. But who knows, maybe he'll get it sorted out and just... McCarthy needs to watch his timeouts for that challenges like that, but regardless, this should be Dallas's win. Packers secured the one seed, and they're going against the Lions. And regardless if they rest their starters for this week, they'll probably still win. Yeah, because it's Detroit. Detroit looked good for like two weeks, then they just fell off again. Then we got the Bears taking on the Vikings. Both these teams have no motivation to win at all. They're both eliminated. 
honestly, it just comes down to whatever, because who needs to win this game? But give me the Vikings. Same situation here. Washington, Giants. Who needs to win here? Probably Washington will win, though. And the Bucks still also trying to fight for that higher seeding. They're um, not looking that good right now. They almost lost to the Jets. Yeah. And then um, Antonio Brown quit mid-game in style. But much as I don't want it to happen, let me just check here. This is not my official pick. Okay, I don't think Cowboys would advance anyways, but give me the Bucks. And then Saints going against the Falcons. Falcons just recently got eliminated. And the Saints are going to try their absolute hardest to get into the playoffs here. Falcons could try to play spoiler since it's divisional rival. All in all, though, if, like, Taysom Hill comes back, I think they'll have a better chance. They still have a crazy defense. I think that's what's going to give them this win here over the Falcons. And then the whole NFC West chaos. 49ers trying to slip into the playoffs here. I think if they lose, they're out. But look who their opponent is. It's L.A. The Rams. In L.A. It's going to be hard. But I think it's going to be too much for the 49ers. As the Rams will eliminate them. And then the Cardinals. Going to Seattle. Against Seattle. They're at home. And they're going to win. And with that. We officially have. For this predictions. Playoff seeding. Titans get the one seed. With the Chiefs at two. Bengals at the three seed. Bills at the four. Patriots at the five. Raiders at the six. Colts at the seven. Barely missing out are the Ravens and Chargers. On the NFC side, Packers obviously number one seed. Two seed is Rams. Three seed is Buccaneers. Four seed is Cowboys. Five seed is Cardinals. Six seed is Eagles. Seven seed is the Saints. And missing out is the 49ers. So, next week I'll go with my full-on playoff predictions, like all the way up to the Super Bowl, but those wildcard picks will be my official picks for the game, and I'll also say my final prediction record, but for this, right now, last week I went 13-3, and three, total bringing up to 167-88-1, and one. so we're just going to have to see what happens next week here, starting on Saturday, should be a lot of fun. And hopefully, um, Jerry's boys don't screw up. <laughs>